Welcome back to the Roland Robson, we've got an exciting review of our first site that we went on our Norfolk trip on the northwest coast here. This is Diglia campsite, so we're going to give you a review of this, give you the good bits and also the bad bits, and if we would stay here again in the future. So as you first come into the campsite, on the left hand side it has a shop that is always there. It's a bit of a walk from the tune section, but that's on that side. On the right hand side here we have the reception, and also we've got any queries or qualms on there. A bit of a car park here in the main section, and over here, it's where you put your caravan or motorhome while you're waiting to get in. There is a barrier there, but unfortunately the barrier has not worked at any point. You will need £10 in order to um, be able to get into that barrier because you need a fob. While we've been here, it's cost us a family of five, that's two adults and three children, £33 per night, which is pretty good for the area. So looking around, a lot of sites around here are significantly more than this, so that's pretty good for that. The campsite has its own bar, which is behind me here, which has sort of um, entertainment on some nights. It also has a little bit of food there, but the food is quite limited, like burgers and chips. And again, that isn't always on at the same time as the actual restaurant, so you'll have to check that. Inside of the main area, there is obviously one of the toilet blocks and inside here is the laundrette. So it has a pretty good size, the camera focus there, laundrette, so it's got four washers and I think it's also got three or four dryers. So I decided to retake this part of the video on Diglia campsite because I thought I was a little bit harsh on it actually. So I've re-recorded this, and I'm gonna give you a more balanced opinion of what we thought of Diglia. On the whole, we think it's a reasonable campsite. I personally wouldn't go back there again and that's not because of the campsite itself, although I do think the toilets need a big overhaul and a few other things need sorting. The biggest thing for us was just other people. There was lots of children on the site, um, and some of the children were on the site, their parents didn't really make sure they were behaving. So an example is, round our way, the kind of overflow section we were in, someone decided to flood both water points, there was no drains there, so that was absolutely flooded. All the little kind of paths around there were absolutely soaked, water balloons everywhere. When we left the site, again, there were children that decided to just ride right in front of the caravan and the car, and you try to maybe make sure you weren't clipping them. So I think that was one of the main things. At £33 a night, I think, for the area, I think that's pretty reasonable. We did look originally go on the caravan club site at Sandrum, but that was £44 a night. So I think, you know, I think on balance, it's a reasonable site. Personal level, we wouldn't go back there again. Um, I think for a lot of people, it will be ideal, but I do think it does require a lot more modernisation. Um, in terms of location, great. For that but i think it does need a lot more money spent at the bring it up to a decent standard to be somewhere that people would want to go time and time again 